The sustainable growth rate formula is retained earnings divided by book value of equity. We can rewrite the sustainable growth rate formula as the return on equity multiplied by the retention ratio. The return on equity formula is net income divided by equity. The retention ratio formula is retained earnings divided by net income. Net income will offset net income. So, we will end up with the original formula of the sustainable growth rate of retained earnings divided by the book value of equity. The retention ratio can be rewritten as 1 minus the dividend payout ratio. Then, we can use the DuPont analysis to identify the drivers of the return on equity. We can rewrite the return on equity formula as the return on assets multiplied by the financial leverage. Please note that financial leverage is the same as an equity multiplier. The return on assets formula is net income divided by assets. The financial leverage formula is assets divided by equity. Assets will offset assets, so we will end up with the original formula of return on equity of net income divided by equity. This will allow us to expand the return on assets formula as profit margin is multiplied by the total asset turnover. Please note that the profit margin is the same as the return on sales. The profit margin formula is net income divided by sales. The total asset turnover ratio is sales divided by assets. Sales will offset sales, so we will end up with the original formula of the return on assets of net income divided by assets. We are splitting the return on equity into three components, and this is essentially what the DuPont analysis is. The formula is the profit margin times the total asset turnover times the financial leverage. The profit margin ratio is a profitability ratio that measures operating efficiency. The total asset turnover ratio is an efficiency ratio that measures the asset uses efficiency. The financial leverage ratio is a solvency ratio that measures the financial leverage. Managers use the DuPont analysis to identify the strengths or weaknesses of the return on equity drivers. Also, investors can use this DuPont analysis to compare the operational efficiency of two similar firms. Therefore, we can rewrite the sustainable growth rate formula as the return on equity times the retention ratio. Or we can also write the growth rate formula as the return on equity times 1 minus the dividend payout ratio. Or we could use the two-factor DuPont analysis of return on equity to write the growth rate formula as the return on assets times the financial leverage times 1 minus the dividend payout ratio. Or lastly, we could also use the three-factor DuPont analysis of return on equity to write the growth rate formula as the profit margin times the total asset turnover ratio times the financial leverage times 1 minus the dividend payout ratio.